Hi, this is Norm Chapman, uh, CEO of uh, United Concept Trainers, and we've just installed uh, uh, electrical bolts in the cooling fan circuit, and uh, what I'm going to uh, demonstrate right now is being able to find that uh, particular fault uh, in the trainer, how easy it is for the students. Uh, so the cooling fan in the center here, if I turn on the ignition switch, and of course I hit the energize the sensor, uh, the, the relay energized, so I can hear it click, and the student can see through the clear relay the actual uh, 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 contacts engaged. Now to uh, to diagnose it using the test points, there's a variety of different tools to use. You know, the standard test light, uh, they call it scope on a rope, uh, uh, a digital voltometer, or which is gaining a lot of popularity, would be a power probe. Uh, what's nice about using this trainer is we can hook off the 12 volts auxiliary power in the front so there's positive and negative just like you hook it up to the battery. I hook up positive and I hook up negative and now the power probe comes on and in order to do a diagnosis and so if I take and say okay I'm showing 12.1 volts uh, before the fuse I'm showing 12.1 volts after the fuse at number C uh, 12.1 volts, number D 12.1, number E 12.1 so when I come down here to the relay assembly, it's showing 12.1 before the relay, and it shows 12.1 afterwards. If I turn off the circuit, it goes dead. If I turn it on, I'm showing my 12.1 volts. So I know I got the voltage running down through the relay assembly, so my relay coil and my relay contact points are working. Through the amps here, we check it at point G, showing 12.1. At point H, I'm showing zero. So as a, uh, a diagnostician there, I've got a break in the wire between G and H. The great thing about a power probe is I can apply 12 volt power or, 12, or the negative. So if I hit 12 volt power, my fan comes on. So in terms of diagnostic uh, abilities there in this fan, the student can learn how to know where power should be and where ground should be after a circuit.